You know, some of the challenges that I think our students face here is there's so much to learn. They can't begin to grasp all the content. It is so vast and they have to try to figure out what do I learn that I don't know what to study. I just am so all over the place. And I think that's been our biggest challenge is directing where they need to learn and how to learn because every day there's more knowledge. I faced as a professor is trying to help them, trying to help our students figure out what direction to go, what they need to learn, and helping them to understand that they're going to be the ones that have to seek out the knowledge because the knowledge is just coming at them in a hundred directions. So one of the things that I've worked with and found very helpful is helping them to learn is one, getting them to say, okay, I need to be proactive and by encouraging, using um, PrepU, for example, an adaptive testing method that gets them engaged so that they understand, okay, this is where I'm at, now I gotta keep going, and helping them to get started. Course Point's given us an opportunity that everything is integrated. The textbook matches the, um, the adaptive testing, it flows. So if a student's working on their prep you and then they not quite sure which direction they're going, they go over to their textbook and they can do it electronically. It goes over to their textbook, they get what they, they find the section of the book, they're able to read it. It may be um, an image bank they can go to, it may be one of the videos. They have case studies that are offered to them that help them apply what they're reading. The other thing that we've been able to offer and start with is we've electronic health record called DocuCare, which fits with the way it's the product helps them learn how to how to chart, but it also helps them to look and say, oh, okay, oh, we're going to put a nasogastric tube down. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at there. So they can actually look at their textbook, watch a video of how to do it then apply why they're doing it and figure out how to chart it and it's all one product that they can look at and it goes together and i haven't seen that in anything else we've had fragmented pieces we had a little here and a little there but this goes together so that they're not lost i think using course point as far as engaging the students sometimes we all not just students need a little push and just sometimes that happens. And by using course point and having set guidelines, all right, you need to achieve this. In order to be successful, you have to get to this particular level, whichever we've looked at. And by using the course point, I think it's encouraged them to be engaged and it's gotten them, so it, it's given them confidence. It's helped them to say, oh, I can do this. And when it becomes time to do their NCLEX, they are better prepared. They understand it, they've been using it, and we're using it across our curriculum now. So they're pretty comfortable with the process when they get questions with hotspots, so they get questions with um, multiple answers, and they're at the state board. They're not as afraid of it. They're like, yeah, I can do that, or, oh, I know how to get, learn and look at that. I can actually go to the RN review questions. I can actually go to the NCLEX review questions and ask myself and say, oh, I, I remember that from Prep U and I know how to do that. And I had a student actually just pass her boards tell me that one of the questions she had, she remembered that in Prep U and she knew it and it gave her confidence. And when she saw that question pop up on her state boards, she was like, I knew it. So I kept going. And that was kind of neat. So it gives them confidence, gets them engaged, and it gives them the boost sometimes that they need to get going. As far as using course points, some of the, the findings that I have is I have had to encourage students, and by putting that grade, applying it, I can do that. Course point, I don't have to struggle with getting the grades back because I can download them to an Excel file, the grades are there, they're easy to get. I can actually watch very closely what a student has done. And once in a while, we'll have students that maybe think they've studied more than they've studied, or they have a mis 
understanding of their own workload that they've done. And I can pull up their course point and go in with them and say, look, this is what you've done. This is where I think maybe you need to work a little harder and maybe you'll be more successful. Because I'm able to, not that I want to track them like Big Brother, but it also does give us some accountability. And looking at that with the student, it's been a little bit of an aha moment when they are going, well, I was there. I know I was working on it. And we can actually get a timeline and say, no, this is where you're at and this is what you might want to do. And that's been a kind of a wake-up call for a few students. So it's helped us that way. It's helped us to, I think, for me, I've probably been able to push students a little harder to achieve a little more because it's very, I can see it. All right, guys, you can do this, but let's go a little further. I think you can do it. You've reached this point. Let's keep going. And it's like they can see what they've achieved, and I love that.